One thousand brave archers stand ready to fight against an enemy army. What they don't know is that army that is standing beyond the waves is in fact an army of the undead. Ten thousand strong. Can the archers hold against the army of the undead with only one thousand soldiers? Only time will tell. Yo, what's cracking, gamers? It's your boy, Daily Productions, trapped in Daily Tactics' basement per usual, playing some more Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator today. Over here, we have 10,000 zombies. Oh, these are some ugly brutes here. Going up against 1,000 archers. The archers are going to be defending this bridge, but they have troopers on the left side, ready to fire in at the bridge, and on the right side, also ready to fire in on the bridge, and on the bridge itself. It should be absolutely insane. I think this will be a really fun battle for us to go ahead and watch. So why don't we go ahead and press start right now and check out what ends up going on. Oh, some zombies are actually going to the left. I was not expecting that move. I guess these zombies aren't so brainless after all. But here comes the arrow fire coming in hot. The first of the zombies go down. It does take a few arrows to actually go ahead and kill a zombie. So that's a that's definitely a bonus for the archers. It, it definitely helps them out. Or sorry, it's definitely a bonus for the zombies. How does that help the archers at all? That's terrible for the archers. Uh, but yeah, it's definitely helpful for the uh, zombies that they take a few hits, you know? Uh, there are actually a few going for the bridge, but significantly less than I had hoped for. Um, okay, well, I guess there's that. Uh, why don't we go ahead into fast motion here for just a split second so we can uh, see just how far the zombies make it here because they do walk rather slowly we might have to do this battle a second time but with the, uh, the zombies actually crossing the bridge I really didn't think they would all go to the left <laughs> that's my beef but either way, while I have you guys here, be sure to hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. It helps me out tremendously. Subscribe if you haven't already, and comment on down below if you'd like to see some more Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator. I really like Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator. I wish the sequel would come out, but, uh, you know, they're still working on it. I understand. I understand. Game, game development takes a long time. There's a lot of QA that needs to be done, too, even after you've sort of finished the product. So, uh, I, I fully... I fully get it, but oh, I'm just itching to get a hold of Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator 2, man. I'm itching. Either way, the archers have yet to have a single zombie actually make it to them here. The zombies are getting real close, but no cigar just yet. Can these archers over here even shoot at them? Nope. <laughs> it's literally just these guys. <laughs> That's so sad. I mean, I guess it's good for the archers, but it's a little bit lame, if we're being completely honest. Like, uber lame, actually. <laughs> uh, I, I kinda wish they'd actually gone for the bridge! You know, I hate to say it, I wish the zombies had gone for the bridge. Then we'd get a little bit more exciting of a battle here. But, uh, minno, he's not what happened. Alright, the zombies aren't really making much ground. You know what, why don't I just go ahead and fast forward through this battle. We can find out who ends up winning this one. The zombies haven't even made it to chomp on the on the archers just yet, so they might not ever. Uh, and then uh, once this one is over, then we can go to the true bridge battle here. Ooh! Zombies actually made- Oh, they're actually starting to get kills! Oh wait, hold up. We, we gotta see this empire fall. My empire of dirt. Oh no! Oh, okay. Well... This is certainly a little bit of a twisty twist. I, I really thought the zombies were not going to make it to them at all, and they'd all die out and whatever. Because, I mean, if they're on the bridge, then the zombies will be a lot more uh, close together, so more will actually make it through because they're doing a bit of a kamikaze. But out here, it's so open, I didn't think uh, any of them would manage to actually make it. But here they are, managing to get in on these archers here and take a whole lot of them out. Holy cow! Yeah, this group of archers is definitely going to go down here now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They have killed about 2,000 zombies, uh, but the zombies have killed 270 of them now. Crazy. And there's still quite a number of zombies left alive. About 4,000 remain. Some of them must have 
gotten cut off by the mountains or something like that because that doesn't quite add up to the total number I tried to put on the field. But there you go. The zombies take out that first group of archers. I guess we'll see. Oh, here we go. Now they're going for the bridges. Okay, okay. This is what we wanted to see, boys. All right, well, I guess there's also going to be a flanking force. So many zombies are going down here. Oh, that's why the numbers don't add up. Because there's been a buttload of zombies that have fallen through the cliff. It doesn't count them as kills for the archers, but they're still dying anyway. I understand now. I understand. All right, let's go into normal speed here for a little bit. And uh, the zombies on the bridge are starting to get killed by some arrows here. Very few of them making it actually onto the bridge. Tons of them falling into the water here and just insta-dying. Yikes, dude. Oh, my God. It's like World War Z. You know those scenes in World War Z where they all just, like, pour into, like, a ravine or something? Or, like, they, they all, like, crush each other until they make a bridge kind of a thing? That's that's giving me that <laughs> vibe. Um, but here we go. Both uh, ends of archers here actually firing now. Onto the bridge, very nice. Let loose your arrow rain. Very good. Look at that. Look at those shots going out, ringing true. And hit, hitting a heck of a lot of zombos out there. Hitting a heck of a lot of zombos. The zombos are not even close. They're not even close to making it onto the bridge. But here come the flanking zombies here. Why don't we speed this up a, a, just a touch more? Yeah, the flanking zombies, they're not doing too hot at all. It's taking them forever to get even close to these fellers. And these fellers are just gunning them down with arrows. Brutal. Fatality. Look at this. This actually looks kind of sick, though. This really does look kind of sick. It, it almost looks cooler in fast motion to me. I don't know why. But, like, the fact that the arrows are coming on so fast and strong, it, like, makes it feel more impactful. You know? Although the zombies do look a little strange when they're like that. I mean, let's check it out in normal speed now. Now that we've gotten a taste of, break, of uh, fast motion. It's still cool. It's still cool. It still feels very impactful. But for whatever reason, I think in, in fast motion, it's still just a smidge cooler. Maybe that's just me. I don't know. What do you guys think in the comments? Do you think it looks cooler like this? This is fast motion. I don't know. It's just like so many arrows at once. Or like this in normal speed. I think both have their merits, but I, I think I got to go with the fast motion one. I don't know. Maybe I'm just weird, dude. All right, let's check out on those flankers. They're all dying. <laughs> the flanking zombies are doing horribly, dude. There's not too many more of them left, to be honest. Now, like, all of the zombies have chosen to divert towards the bridge itself rather than on the flank. Yeah, this is a yikes, dude. And look, these guys are over here are really sitting pretty. I mean, they don't even have the threat of zombies flanking them. They just get to do whatever the heck they want, dude. It don't matter. It don't matter at all, man. Well, here we go. Fast motion. You can see... All of the arrows going out like little little bees, I guess. I mean, one thing that Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator really needs is an ammo situation. That would make it more interesting. Because range units in Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator are so overpowered. They really, really are. I mean, it's partially what makes this uh, video interesting. You know, the fact that there's, there's just such a powerful force of archers firing in on these zombies. But simultaneously, like, melee units need to have so much health in order to actually get to the archers in order to fight them that it's almost like, all right, there's no point. Or even if you go modded, like modern soldiers, any melee unit has no chance against them. No chance in the slightest. It's a little lame, to be quite frank. It's a little lame. I, I think they do need to buff them. Buff these boys or nerf the archers. Buff the melee or nerf the archers. That's my opinion. Maybe they'll do that for Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator too. There's some zombies over here who are just like wandering. <laughs> they don't even know what to do. They're just chilling, dude. They have no idea what to do. Oh, yeah. That, that might be the end of the zombies, dude. Zombie army only made it about halfway across the bridge here. I mean, props to them for killing the entirety of that archer squadron over there. That was pretty impressive. But other than that, they've done very little. Now there's just random wandering zombies. The archers have officially won the day! There's a couple stragglers coming in. But let's check out the stats. So 10,000 zombies died. That's not true. There's 80 zombies remaining. 
but I think they're just sort of wandering the desert now, which is kind of funny. The archers killed 3,500 zombies, which means that there's a whole lot of dead zombies in here, and I believe it. Yeah, there's a lot of dead zombies in here, dude. Oh, there's another one. <laughs> a lot of dead zombies in here, man. <laughs> so many fell off the cliff. Um, and the zombies killed 333 archers, so a third of the archer force. Either way, guys, that's going to be about it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I really did hope you enjoyed this. Be sure to hit that like button if you did. Subscribe if you haven't already. And comment down below if you would like to see some more Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator in the future. I'll see you all later. Peace. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Be sure to click that subscribe button for more content. And hit the notification bell if you'd like to be alerted to whenever I live stream or upload. Thanks so much.